Hello friends, welcome to the Milton Public Library in Milton, Vermont. And this is Dulac and we are going to have a story time this morning about bugs. And now that it's warm outside, all those bugs are waiting, waking up and they're so beautiful to see. Um, so we're going to read some stories about them. But first, we're going to sing a song, the together song, because we're together this morning. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because we're in the library, and it's filled with books, and you're here at Storytime because you love books, we're going to put our hand together to look like a little book. And we're going to sing. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Good job, you guys are such great singers. Thank you for singing with me this morning. Well, the first book that we're going to read I Love Bugs by Emma, Emma Dodd. And Holiday House has given us permission to read this book to you. Look, she has a, my, a magnifying glass so she can look at little bu bugs and they appear very big so you can see them. And that is a, that's right, a ladybug. And lots of leaves because there's a little caterpillar eating the leaves. They like those leaves, those caterpillars. I love bugs. Oh, the pretty butterfly. I love all bugs, big and small. He looks big under the magnifying glass. I love springy, jumpy, leapy bugs and slimy, crawly, creepy bugs. <laughs> I love hard, spiky, spiny bugs and pretty spotted, spotty, shiny bugs. Oh, look at those pinchers. Hi, a ladybug with all the spots. I love fuzzy, sunny honey bugs with, and furry, worry, funny bugs. Look at all those bees going out to find pollen so they can make honey. I love brightly colored winged bugs and stripy, swipey sting bugs. Look at the butterflies. Oh, and the bees. Oh, those bees, they like jam and they like lemonade. I love whiny, buzzy sounding bugs and glidey across the ground bugs. That looks like a big old fly. And that looks like maybe a centipede. I love flouncy, frilly and Fluttery bugs and silly, glittery clutter bugs. Look at all those pretty winged bugs. They are pretty. It's a dragonfly. I love fly around the light bugs and curl up tight bugs. Do you ever go outside at night where there's a light? You'll find bugs. Where's the curl up? Oh, here they are. They're curling up brown like a bug, like a bug, because they are bugs. <laughs> Yes, I love all bugs. Hop and fly and crawl bugs. Look at all those bugs. Yeah. Caterpillars and the bees and the dragonflies. Oh, and the grasshopper. He was first. I forget what the name of that one is, but he has big claws. It's a funny name, too. But the best bugs are hairy bugs. Eight-legged scary bugs. <gasps> what is this? That's right. It's a spider web. And there's the spider. You can hardly see it right there. Oh, there's the spider. And hang from the ceiling bugs. Look at that. She has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a big spider. And send me squealing bugs. <laughs> I Love Bugs by Emily Dodd. That was a good one about bugs, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. 
Well, I have a flannel board story about one of my favorite kind of bugs. Caterpillar and turns into something beautiful. So let's see. In the light of the moon, there's a little egg on a leaf. It's a little egg. And one Sunday morning, out popped a caterpillar, a very hungry caterpillar. And he started to look for some food. Well, on Monday, ate through one apple. And on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. And on Wednesday, he ate through three plums. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges. My goodness, that was one hungry caterpillar. And then on Saturday, oh, he was very hungry on Saturday. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami. <laughs> One lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oh, and that night he had a tummy ache. So the next day, Sunday again, and he ate through one green leaf and he felt much better. And now he wasn't hungry anymore. Look how big he's gotten. And he wasn't little anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And he built himself a small house. It's called a cocoon all around himself. And there he stayed inside for more than two weeks. And then he nibbled a little hole in the cocoon and he pushed himself, himself out and he was a beautiful caterpillar. Isn't that pretty? You can still see his little red head. It was a caterpillar turned into a butterfly. That was really nice. One of my favorites. All right, let's see. Oh, you guys can help me sing this one. I bet you know it. It's called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Okay, we'll do it twice. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. You want to do that one more time? You can do it with me, okay? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain wash the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Nice. That was great. I have one more book to read and it's called Some Bugs. And Simon and Schuster have given us permission to read this. The words are by Angela D. Turisley and the and the Bugs by Brendan Windsor. <laughs> Some bugs. Some bugs. Oh, look, I see one right there. Some bugs. Oh, there's a little ladybug. And there's a kitty cat. And there is a net and a micro, um, magnifying glass and a jar. Sometimes people like to catch the bugs and really look at them carefully. Some bugs sting, some bugs bite, some bugs stink, phew. <laughs> and some bugs fight. Look at that. I'm gonna have to find
find out what the name of that is. That was in the other book, too. And some bugs flutter, and some bugs crawl. A beautiful monarch butterfly, and a dragonfly. Oh. Some bugs curl up in a ball. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> so I don't know what the name of those what that is, but I've always called them potato bugs. They might not be potato bugs, but that's what I've always called them. Some bugs like to hop. Some bugs glide. And some bugs swim. And you know what? The fish like to eat the swimmy bugs. And so does the frog. Can you see the frog? There's his eyes. He's waiting to catch those swimmy bugs. And some bugs hide. See if we can find some. Oh, I think that's a little ant. Yeah. Oh, that's a stick bug. It looks just like a stick. And a praying mantis. That is a moth. And that looks like maybe a caterpillar. Where else do we see? See any more? Oh, look at that little tiny bug up there. Wow. Oh, some over there too. Lots of bugs hiding. Some bugs click, and some bugs sing. Do we hear a uh, cricket? Crickets make a lot of noise. There's a mole. <laughs> some bugs do a buzzing thing. Buzz, 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 buzz. Those are bumblebees, aren't they? There's the little ladybugs. Hmm, is that that cat again? I think it is, right there. He was hiding. Some bugs build. Look at that, a big wasp's nest. And some bugs make spiders web. And some bugs hunt. Uh-oh, little fly. And some bugs take. If you ever go on a picnic and there were ants just looking for some food. Look at all those ants. <laughs> Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking. Bugs are so fascinating. Oh, there's a woolly bear. <laughs> and ants. My goodness, that's a lot of bugs. So kneel down close and look hard. See, there's the little boy with a magnifying glass looking at some bugs. And find some bugs in your backyard. I bet you will find some bugs in your backyard because they are all over the place. And they don't want to hurt you. They just, just being bugs. Oh, oh, there's some, there's some names. That's the one I didn't know what it was. It's a Hercules beetle. <laughs> nice name. And there's a scorpion. And there's a monarch caterpillar. And there's the woolly bear. Always see those in the fall. Look at all the bugs. There are a lot of bugs. And that was a very good book. Some Bugs, by words by Angela de Trisley, and Bugs by Brendan Wenzel. That Brendan can make some nice bugs. Well, we are going to go um, over to the craft table and we're going to make something special today. Well, this morning, or today, we are going to make some caterpillars. Very easy to do. I have a paper plate. There's some colored paper, a small one and a big one. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the paper plate in half, just like this. And this is going to make two caterpillars because you're going to cut inside out. So you just follow along and you cut right where you make a circle, half circle, just like this. And that is going to be your caterpillar. You only need to make a face. So you can pick whatever color you would like. I did red and blue. Maybe I will do green this time. Oh, maybe purple. That's kind of cool. So I just cut out a circle. I want it to be kind of the same size or a little bit bigger than the, the uh, um, what the caterpillar is going to be. I think that's going to be big enough. And then you want to cut out two antennae. So I just cut a, two strips 
and then trying to make them the same size i cut up two actually i'll just use this i'm going to cut up two round balls that are going to go on top of the antenna antenna sorry just like this there so you need your glue stick you could do this with tape too though most of the things i make and you're going to glue the little round part onto the antenna okay so i just put some glue on there right there and then I'll we'll make sure I don't stick it to the table I did that the other day stuck my antenna right on to the table kind of silly okay so then we have to there's the two antenna antenna and we're gonna glue it to the head but you want to glue it so that the so it's behind the head so let's turn this over let's see put the glue on this side on both of them and then you're just going to put it right on like that there's one and here's the other oops two antennas and then I'll take a marker and i'll make their face like a round o for the mouth and two round eyes and maybe i'll do a little fancy <laughs> eyelashes on that <laughs> kind of funny huh okay then we have to cover this so I made a pattern on mine like that and I tried to do a pattern on that but I kind of <clears throat> went unpatterned for a little while <laughs> but you can do it any way you want you could also actually make one that's just one color because sometimes caterpillars are the little you know which one I always think of is that little green one sometimes very little so I'm gonna make this one all the same color and all you have to do is color 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 all the way around all the way around all the way around <laughs> just like that you just make it as colorful as you want you can even put spots on it because some caterpillars have spots on them maybe I can find it oh, here's a purple one put some purple spots on oh that purple didn't really color much so i'm gonna put ah there you go some spots some spots some spots some spots some spots and then you need to put the head on and i stapled it on you could glue it but it won't stay as well and you could also tape it so i want it to be so you don't see just like that so if you look in the back, it's a little over the edge so that you don't see any of the body. And I stapled it, there's my stapler. Just like that. And then you have a caterpillar. Aren't they pretty? Just like that. Well, thank you for coming to story time today. So glad you did. I hope you have a time to go outside and enjoy the beautiful spring weather and Find some bugs that you can look at. Maybe, maybe have a magnifying glass and you can look at them up close. It'll be fun. Bye now.